I wanted to do a little video about my RV electrical system. So um, one of the issues I was having is uh, I would use my generator to charge my battery. And so I wasn't getting very quick of a charge because inside here, there's a converter. Um, the power converter converts shore power to DC power. And basically, uh, it's too slow of uh, an amp charge uh, on, on the battery. So I was looking to get a smart converter. Um, and smart converters are expensive. And I started thinking about it. And uh, I called a bunch of different RV shops. And I talked to one guy who um, seemed to really know what he was talking about. And he said, don't get a smart converter. He said, just get two golf cart batteries. And boy, was that a smart thing. So I bought this little thing on Amazon. It was super cheap. But the nice thing is it tells me, uh, the voltage. And then I laminated this, uh, voltage chart and you can see, um, I'm at 12.33, so I'm hovering somewhere around 70% uh, up, uh, and I have been camping for four days, and we've been using the lights, uh, you know, we don't have, like, TV or anything, but, you know, it, it we, we, we have had no restrictions, I still have plenty of battery, I can continue uh, camping for another couple days and, you know, you're not really supposed to go below 50%, but even with the golf cart batteries, uh, they're actually like a true deep cycle battery versus the Marine, uh, RV hybrid batteries are designed to be able to start a boat engine. So they're not actually like true deep, deep cycle batteries. So, um, this little meter, I used to, you can use just like a regular voltmeter, but I installed this. It was kind of a wiring headache, but I got it figured out. Um, and, uh, I want to show you how I have my battery box. So I had to buy a special battery box from a company in Canada. And so notice the 12 or the uh golf cart batteries are six volt so you have to wire them in series so notice these are the plugs coming from my camper and uh i just basically uh actually one of the tools you're going to need in order to do this is you need uh a crimp um for these lugs because you're going to be making uh, a few of these so i want to talk a little bit about the the battery box so I had this angle iron came was was the existing angle iron. I cut off I don't know how well you can see under here. I cut off this part and I I used a grinder to to cut this angle iron and I basically took it to a welder who welded this on here. And so I've got you know, it was basically with everything cut, it was only like a 10 minute weld job. So it was not that big of, big of an ordeal. And so this thing just happened to fit perfectly. It was like a miracle. Um, otherwise I would have had to do two pieces of the angle iron. And so basically these uh, golf cart batteries, man, it's like having three batteries and you can, you can run for like almost a week and you never need, I didn't even bring my generator to camping with me. Um, I just, you know, I've got enough power to just keep going. And another thing I did is I installed a switch. So I'm going to go look at the switch. Here's what the inside looks like. I had to find the black and red wire and cut them and also crimp. So, you know, a crimping tool is really a good idea to have. Uh, and you know, I, sh I heat shrinked all the lugs. So everything's just, you know, super nice. Um, you know, and then I installed this switch. Now, this is the, the thing that I needed for the voltmeter. Um, so it is a little bit of a complicated wiring thing, but I just followed the instructions. And then I put in this switch. So what I do when I get home is I'll keep it charged for about a week, um, you know, a couple days. And then uh, when it's fully charged, you you never want to store your batteries, not, you know, uh, without them being fully charged. So, but you also don't want to keep charging them. So once I am done charging it, I open this and I turn the switch off 
and then it just completely disengages the battery. So that's what a smart converter, so here's my converter. Um, you know, your RV will come with a dumb converter. So, you know, if you, you can get a smart converter, but this is one way to avoid having to do a smart converter is you just, you just charge your batteries, leave them fully charged. And then, uh, then, you know, have a switch and just, you can also just unplug it, but the switch is easier because then you're not having to undo the, the battery terminals. Um, and so basically when I go camping, it, I flip the switch a few days before, like, you know, like a week or th like four days before I'm going to go camping. So it's like fully charged again. Um, just cause when your battery is charged and then you let it rest, uh, it, you know, you can, you can get more, uh, power into it if, it, after it's rest. So, um, and then, you know, then I got all the power I need, you know, like I said, I've been camping for, you know, four days and we're at like 70% battery. So works out really Here's well. What it looks like all packed up. Again, the benefits are you don't really need to buy a smart converter. You don't need to worry about getting a fast charge uh, from the generator. Um, you can basically, you don't even need to bring a generator for most camping trips, unless you're staying for more than a week. I mean, you can even really go like a week if you're, you know, not running a bunch of stuff. Um, it's just super convenient. It works really well and you know it's clean set up um just the only thing is it's a little bigger than the previous battery thing but that's totally fine and uh yeah i'm super happy i did this i i don't know why more people don't do it this way